just going to swap out uh, the standard two-piece cable that uh, TFL likes to fit to all their boats to a one-piece. Um, there is an advantage with the two-piece and that is that if the cable was to snap uh, the uh, you can never lose your propeller because this part here um, sits in here like this a shoulder here um, so it can never actually go that way if the cable was to break you don't lose your prop but the disadvantage is you have to pull all this stuff off uh, just to lubricate your cable um, so I'm going to swap it out for the, the just a normal type so I've got my total length here by copying what's there I'm just going to cut it down We've got a texture. Yep. I'm just going to make the cut here, just so I don't have to move the camera around. Just a normal metal cut-off wheel. Hopefully you can see this. Same length as the old one. I've now got to um, clean that up on a on just on the bench grinder, and also put the flat on for the uh, uh, drive dog. And I normally set that at 25 mil from there to there. I might I'm going to make this one a little bit longer um, in case the customer wants to run a three blade prop, which is a little bit fatter. So I'm going to make it closer to 30 mil. Alright, so that's it there. Just got a little flap there for the uh, grub screw on the drive dog. And I've just cleaned that up um, so there's no little frays, no little piece of the wire sticking out, and a little bit of a lead in for when it pushes into the collar, it's not you know, dead flat. So you just put that on the side of the wheel and just turn it um, clockwise. So there's the cable, uh, the new one piece one put in. Um, you can see I've got a gap here between the the, uh, the bearing, uh, or it could be just a simple washer. You could just use the washer like TFL uses, uh, and the back of the drive dog. On their system, um, because the uh, stub shaft can float in there, they run no gap at all. Um, but on this system, the uh, when the cable shrinks that will pull your drive dog back into here so you have to have a gap so I've got a 3 mil gap set there uh, this is a 316 cable if you're running a gas boat a petrol boat with a quarter inch cable you'd be running you know 4 mil 5 mil um, but on these things 3 mil is enough it's not a you're not running a massive prop fast spinning brushless motor so um, you must have that gap though otherwise it's just gonna snap the cable it's just got nowhere to go under load